everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're checking out the tracker today. This is one of those Bluetooth devices that will help you find your lost wallet or purse or something if you go out of range. And what you do is you just stick this in your, uh, the thing that you don't want to lose. And it's pretty thin, so you could probably fit it in a wallet. It takes up like about the same space as maybe two or three credit cards. It is a little bit long, but that's because it's got two batteries on board and I think a decent size antenna, uh, which will actually uh, give you some good range when it is lost. You can uh, have a better chance of finding it again. Uh, the manufacturer says that it will last two years on just two little watch batteries. So that's a pretty good long time. It uses that new uh, Bluetooth uh, low power standard, which is kind of nice. There's also an on off button here so you can uh, turn it off. It's also supposed to let you um, ping your phone because I often lose my phone more than I lose my keys. Uh, but that feature is not working for me right now. So all I can do is ping this, but not the, uh, the phone itself. So we're going to pull up now our app. And this, this app uh, is free on the App Store and it doesn't have too many options. I can just hit this little button here to sound the alarm and I can uh, find this if it's missing somewhere. And uh, what I do like is that if you close the app and quit it, uh, this doesn't go off. So it looks like it's, uh, it's smart enough to know when you don't want the app loaded, uh, you don't have to turn this off. I, I've seen some other devices where if you quit the app or the app crashes, uh, this goes off incessantly, not on this device. It actually works uh, fairly well in that regard. Um, it has a little mapping feature too, so the phone will record where it last saw the device. So if you want uh, to try to go find it later on, you can, uh, you can maybe start from where <laughs> it last left off. A few other settings, nothing too major. You can uh, turn the separation alarm off. Um, you can also set the length of time that things uh, uh, will beep at you for. And there's also a, a crowd tracking feature so that if you lose this in, you know, somewhere, maybe in a big field or something like that, you can give the app to a bunch of friends on their phones and you can all set out uh, in a more systematic way to try to track down your lost device. So I think that's a kind of a neat feature. Now let me show you what happens when you uh, put it in uh, tin foil here. I had a hard time running out of range with it in my house. And I did find sometimes too that the, uh, the connection uh, window here, it'll um, you know, kind of give you like an idea of signal strength but not direction. And as you can see now, we've run out of, uh, of range here because it's all covered up by tin foil and the phone will start uh, beeping at me also. I have it set for like a 30 second alarm. Um, so we'll just uh, take it out of here and make sure that it can find it again. And immediately once it finds the phone, uh, it turns off the alarm and you're uh, ready to lose it again. Um, but it's kind of a neat little device. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, you know, I've never been a big fan of these because I, I think they could be a little bit better in that you could maybe get some directional control or something like that. You know, it gets tripped up when you're looking for it. And, you know, if you happen to walk away from, a, uh, from an obstruction, uh, the signal will boost again, but you may not be any closer to the device. So it's really measuring just signal strength strength and not necessarily uh, where exactly it's located. But if you are picking up a signal on the device, you can uh, hit the button and have it start making some noise so you can try to track it down. I just wish it would uh, actually ping my phone in the opposite direction and this one just doesn't seem to be doing that. But uh, beyond that, I think if you're looking for a Bluetooth tracker of the two that I've tried, this one uh, seems to be the better of the two. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.